30 YEARS AFTER LOSING THEIR DAUGHTER IN A LIQUOR STORE SHOOTING, THE FAMILY OF LATASHA HARLANS HAS BEEN FIGHTING FOR RECOGNITION OF HER UNTIMELY DEATH. WELL, FINALLY, THAT'S HAPPENING. A DOCUMENTARY ABOUT HER DEATH HAS JUST BEEN NOMINATED FOR AN OSCAR, AND THE L.A. CITY COUNCIL HAS NAMED A PLAYGROUND AFTER HER. KCAL 9'S CARA FINSTROM HAS THE STORY. THIS IS A PLACE WHERE WE CALL OUR SANCTUARY, YOU KNOW, uh, WHERE WE USED TO WALK. Where we uh, played our sports here. Today, Vester Akoff came to the South LA Park being named in honor of his big sister, Latasha Harlins. He was 10 when his protector was ripped away, and Los Angeles shared his grief. It was one of the most darkest days in the history of black Los Angeles. The 15 year old lost her life in a liquor store over a bottle of orange juice. The clerk said she thought Harlins put it in her backpack to steal and shot and killed her. Investigators later said Latasha died with the dollars to buy it clutched in her hand. Her death came shortly after the LAPD officer beating of Rodney King amidst the growing racial unrest that led to the LA riots. Here we are right now, 30 years after. We have uh, Brianna, we have Floyd, and we can do a roll call, right? The, the nation hasn't learned anything. Let's fight. Let's fight for injustice. Let's fight for her life. Today, Rodney King's daughter came to see this park renamed in Latasha's honor. On the wall, a mural of her that her grandmother says brings comfort. Just wonderful for someone to remember you. Family members say a scholarship has been created in her honor, and a documentary tells her story. Now they hope others will look up and be inspired by the 15 year old who said she wanted to help those who actually need it. From South LA, Cara Finstrom, KCAL 9 News.